Right, first off, you were at Duke Mitchell Film Club last night. Can you let us know what you'll be taking away from that experience? If you sit uh, next to Trent Haga, who's the writer of our movie, you'll, you'll need to uh, yeah, pull up a clip that's very obscure to impress him. That's what I take from yesterday. He knew everything that was played, and I'd never seen anything. So, yeah, that was that, impressive. That's a wonderful segue, because my next question is, how did you and Trent Haga hook up to make a film together? That's thanks, thanks to Mark Zuckerberg, really. Uh, in 2010, I saw a movie called Dead Girl, and I was really impressed by it, um, and how grimy and weird and sleazy it was. And uh, I looked up who wrote it, and uh, that was Trent. And he was on Facebook then. He's not now anymore. So I just shot him a message. Uh, and then the next time I was in LA, we met up. And uh, yeah, that's how we got here, basically. Now, as I understand it, you always wanted to make an action film in your home city of Antwerp. So yes. do you want to give us some highlights of what the experience was like was turning your home city into your film set? Wow, OK. Uh, the fun thing is that. Um, Antwerp is a city where you can get away with a lot. I know that. I've been getting away with a lot for 42 years. So uh, a lot of times we didn't really have permission or really have the budget to pull things off and they worked because people from Antwerp are people from Antwerp. So yeah, it, I felt like uh, the son of Antwerp finally making this movie there, which is a great feeling. Now, this, this interview will go after the, after the movie's shown. Yeah. And there's a pivotal scene in Hazard that will decide whether you've got the audience going with you or going against you. Yes. Do you want to talk us through what that sequence is and how you came up with it? Sure. So I think um, rightfully, rightfully so, there's like a lot of discussion lately to include sex scenes. Do, do movies need sex scenes if they don't further the plot? So if you're going to do a sex scene, it, it better be a very memorable one. Uh, or a very strange one, but it can't just be gratuitous. And, and I think we have a very memorable, strange sex scene in our movie. I've always wanted to do a sex scene, and this is one where, yeah, we didn't need an intimate, in, we needed an intimacy coach and a, and a what do you call it, a, like someone who works in a garage? And a car mechanic. A car mechanic and an intimacy coach at the same time, that's all I'll say. Yeah, for the Fright Fest TV audience, is it somewhere, be, somewhere in between Tatang crossed with Cameron Diaz sliding on the windscreen <laughs> in The Counselor? Um, <laughs> Tell, tell us about the rebellious experience of taking a car down St. Anna's footpath. I mean, this is, this is something that, you know, it looked alien on the film, but for you, this was just a complete alien concept, but you did it. Yeah, the big joke is that it's, it's a tunnel, it's a mon monument in Antwerp. It goes under the river Schelde, uh, and it's basically a pedestrian tunnel. And I never thought of shooting there because a lot of rom-coms shoot there, and it's just a boring location to me, but it was actually Trent from America, from his computer, he was looking at a map of Antwerp. We were working on the adaptation together. He said, what's this tunnel going under the, don't we, can we use that for an action set piece? And as soon as he said that, I was like, oh my God, that's never been done before. It will never happen again after us. So yeah, that was the, the moment of Antwerp letting us get away with something. Well, look, thanks for talking to us about Hazard on Fright Fest TV. Thank you so much.